Hey, and we're back, guys. Got one extra life. We got one life. One for the game, one for the princess. <laughs> All right, Man. so what? we're on World 3-3. Three, three. This is 3-3, three, three. okay. So I really can't fuck around. Um, hey. Well. Man. Great. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> we got two. Can I hit him? <laughs> I should carry this bomb block. What? What's wrong with you? Boy, you knew he was gonna explode. I didn't know how long it was gonna take. Man, what elbow? Man, uh, okay, okay. I had to throw it real quick, so I know I'm not gonna get anything this time. Thanks. Thanks. You didn't have to throw real quick, you just go over it. Oh, fuck! That's right! Jamie. Jamie. I have questions. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Hey. Oh, is this the, um, yeah, this is the, uh, building. Like, this entire stage is just a damn building. Oh, God. I remember this. I told you in earlier, I uh, remember how we were talking about in earlier episodes how yeah. I didn't really get good at this until so I had the Game Boy Advance version? Yeah, same. Oh, just, man. Uh, I loved my Game Boy Advance. Oh, man, you died. Well, that's right. I loved my Game Boy Advance. Like, but I did, I did tell you the story how I acquired mine. No. So back in 2000. Hold on, I have an idea. Oh. Well, that idea was bad. Mm. Okay. Yes. Okay, cool. I'm about to say, if you don't get that heart, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to go back and get this heart that I know is up here. What heart? That's a pawn. Kingdom Hearts. I know it's back here. No, it's not. Um, and you get nothing. You get nothing! So back to my story, Jesus Christ. I, I thought something was there, but it wasn't. Whoa, what was that? That was weird. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I when I got my... Uh, okay, the Game Boy Advance dropped it in 2001. Uh, same year as the GameCube. It was a glorious year. Um, True. It was except, amazing. It was a good year, except <laughs> for what happened with 9-11. Yeah. That sucked. Yeah, that was really bad. Um, yeah. I remember being in middle school for that whole day. But I want to relive that, because that was crap. That was, that was a crap day. You were in middle school? Oh, yeah. I was in fifth grade. How do I do this? I was in sixth grade. So what you got to do is, yeah. What? You got to go to... Um, Drop down, drop down. Drop down. Oh my god, Jamie. Go all the way down. And then go to that door, and then you gotta go to that that top area. Go, go to the door. Go to the, what are you doing? <sighs> well, yeah, you could. Yeah, Bob just came up with a good idea that you can use the, uh, Guys that are jumping, but we're not gonna do that. We can. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> back to <laughs> back to the plot. Anyway, so in 2001, the Game yeah. Boy Advance dropped. Uh, everybody I knew had one. They had the cool colors, like the purp the purp the uh, not purple, the blue one, and then the clear blue one, and then there was another color, the clear white, just a clear one, and then hold on, I'm about to sleep. Ooh, sorry guys. Ooh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> sorry guys. Uh, but they also came out with the fuchsia pink one. And my mom told me when I first went to, when I was in middle school, she was like, if you get A B on roll, um, I'll get you a Game Boy Advance. And I wanted one Ooh, my hands so hard. Oh my god. So 
How? I got... Just jump up and get it. The time was just right. Right. Did not do that. Fuck! Well, I'm going back here <laughs> now. Ooh, I'm out! <laughs> oh, I'm fucking out of here. Oh, well, everything just reset, so that was just a waste. Um, but everyone had the cool colors, but the Game Boy Advance sold very well. If, do you, you don't remember, but the Game Boy Advance sold really, really well. So in our hometown, it was very hard to find one. So, um, uh, how am I supposed to throw the key? If you hold the key, he chases after you. If you throw it, if you're not holding the key, he doesn't chase you. Oh. Have you not picked that up yet? I usually just ran. <sighs> well, the more you know, people. Anyway. <laughs> Time to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, the Game Boy Advance was very hard to find. And um, oh, gosh. I um, I wanted one. So I got AB on a roll. And I wanted one so bad. And my mom was like, well, you got AB on a roll. And I'm going to get you a Game Boy Advance. But I can't find one. Well, so we went to Buckhorn, which is our flea market. Yeah, I mean, our... our yeah. I mean, well, our our <laughs> local flea market, I should say. Very local. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we were there one Sunday. And I'll never forget this day for the rest of my life. Um, we just were walking, walking, walking. You know, you see your stereotypical stuff at flea markets. You see, you know, bootleg Jordans and Timberlands and... There are food vendors <laughs> and uh, old games like NES and Super Nintendo games and even some N64 games. But this one dude, Fuck. for some bizarre reason, had the pink fuchsia Game Boy Advance. Um, yeah. He had, it, it, he had it sealed wow. in the box. And this is when it was really, really hard to find Game Boy Advances. Like, really hard. And he had it. And I remember stopping everything I did. You know how they do that thing in a movie where everything just gets blacked out and a light shines on a certain thing? Yeah. I had that moment. <laughs> <laughs> and it was pink. And the first thing that came out of my mom, oh, wow. The first thing that came out of my mom's mouth when she saw it, she said, but this is pink. And that's gay. And I was like... Oh, man, that sucks. That's kind of like ruining a moment. It did, but she bought it for me anyway. I was like, Mom, if you don't get it for me now, I'll never find one. Like, you know, I did that whole thing where you, you're a child and you're freaking out because you want something. Yeah, you're waiting. Yeah. yeah. So, I did that. And she was like, well, fine. If you get it, you can't, you know, take it back and get another color. You're going to have to deal with this pink one. I didn't care. Fuck it. And it also, <laughs> and it also came with Super Mario Advance 1, which is, you know. Yes. Yeah. And I played the fuck out of that game. Like, when I say I played the fuck out of this game, I played the absolute fuck out of this game which is why I'm actually semi good at it um but yeah man I love my Game Boy Advance well, did you you did you ever get an original Game Boy Advance or did you get an SP first I had an Advance first actually my sister that's one how my sister got started uh, playing video games because she got an Advance and she started playing that, and we started playing Pokemon together. And that's how she's, like, so into Pokemon now. Which one? What? Uh, uh, Ruby and Sapphire, Ruby respectively. Sapphire. So I had Sapphire, she had Ruby. Mm. Um, yeah. <laughs> how? I didn't get Ruby and Sapphire. Fuck! Whoa. <sighs> I didn't actually get Ruby and Sapphire until years after they were done. Wow, really? Yeah, I got Ruby and Sapphire when Emerald dropped. Um, I went to, ironically... I went to another flea market, this time up north, uh, Pennsylvania, where my grandma stays. And oh my god. And um she um she was going shopping and I didn't want to shop with you know my grandma. She you know they do that thing where they stay in belts for like ten years. It's boring. Yeah. <laughs> I love my grandma, but I, I was just like, oh, I don't do this but so there was a little store that was basically a oh my god um that's placing like a little flea market beside it and in the case they had a copy of ruby and i was like oh yeah and my grandma had told me she was like if you see something you like just let me know and we'll see if we can get it so i showed it to her and of course it was a pokemon game so it was still like banned it was still like 29.99 yeah but she still got it for me though 
Oh my goodness, good job. Yeah. She got it for me, and I remember, I, I remember staying in her at her place <laughs> and staying up to like four o'clock in the morning which at the time I was like 15 hmm. which I never had never done before but yeah. I, I stayed up to like four o'clock in the morning playing freaking Ruby uh, uh, Ruby and Sapphire were that good though yeah. that's the thing that people don't <laughs> that people don't realize that um I can't wait till we get actually start our, how our Pokemon journey <laughs> frames <laughs> weird <laughs> this game man <laughs> I have ideas for how our channel is going to handle Pokemon games. Um, since there's so many of us on this channel working together as a unit, we could have w one group of people do one game and one group of people do the other. That's actually not a bad idea. Fuck. Um, it all depends. Like when we actually get closer to the time, I do want to do like a poll or you know talk to a boy. Man, I'm pressing up. I wasn't in the fucking shit. Mm, you better <sighs> die. And this is about to be the, the the end of this episode because we're about to fast forward and <laughs> not make our freaking <laughs> fans suffer through this because this <laughs> boy. Yeah. But yeah, I have some ideas for the how we can handle um, freaking uh, Pokemon. What's going to be fun is I can't wait till we actually do that and then there's the tail series where we actually do all the tail games um we'll be able to play those as a group as a full unit of uh four people that's gonna be fun one unit of measurement sorry i'm really into this i see <laughs> which is good i'm glad you're are you at least enjoying yourself even though i'm yeah <laughs> I know it's a struggle. You do not have to tell me. <laughs> it's. I mean, this we, the Mario series isn't going to actually get super duper fun for us until, until we get to World, which you get to play World. <clears throat> all right. So at least I have to play through all of Super Mario Bros. Three. True. And I'm not doing any flutes, so I don't feel like doing. Any, I'm not going to use any flutes. Just like with our playthrough of Super Mario Bros. One, I'm not going to do any warp pipes. Well, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't do any war pipes. Mm. Are you gonna grab the war? What are you? Let's see if I can get a heart or something. Just cause. Try to see what happens. What do you mean? Heart where? You get a heart by hitting two enemies with the same hit. Oh, I see. Why do you need a heart? You have full health. Just see if I can do it. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Boy. What? How'd you live? <laughs> Me and my brother, we were always late for school. <laughs> <laughs> Thus, we made it. <sighs> so, I really like how um, the, um, mm -hmm. the game itself is, is a mistake, so to speak. I mean, how, I mean how it's so? not really a mistake. It's something that sh we shouldn't have gotten, but it solidified itself within like the lore of the Mario universe, like this whole game. Yeah. You know, because I, you know, talking about the Doki Doki Panic thing, like it's just it's kind of funny to think about because as a kid, you you just you don't care about that. You're just oh yeah, it's time to play some Mario. From Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Nintendo would be cool and give us another Mario TV well, show. Well, wait, wait. Nintendo is cool, guys. You're right. I wish Nintendo... I mean, they are cool. Like, they have things that they do. Like, I love Reggie and... Uh, Fudge. And uh, what's the name? And I love uh, this game. Well, Reggie's little skits that he liked to do. I think Reggie's a cool president. But they have a lot of rules that they abide by. Like, my thing about Nintendo is Nintendo is very fast to do cease and desist orders. And... I understand because you know we're musicians, so we know about copyright. Yeah, definitely. We know about you know the le legality of making sure that your stuff stays you know copyrighted, and if it's yours, no one else is stealing from your intellectual intellectual property. For sure. But, yeah. Um, Sorry, I'm just. Really I know you're focused. really. I know you're really. <laughs> um, but I don't think Nintendo handles cease and desist well. Um, I don't think they try to do, like, a common ground. 
I think they uh I think they just they just do what they have to do just you know as a company. Which you, I mean, there's nothing the wrong with that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Well, I just wish in my heart that they would be more accepting of fan projects. Agree. I really do. I really Agreed. wish that. Like because you know you know the thing about Sega. Sega's all like, yo, you guys are making fake Sonic games. Fuck yeah! Make some more. We like to see them. Like they're they're really like that right now. They're cool like that. Yeah, yeah they're cool like that. Now, granted, of course they're gonna be like that because the last like two Sonic games were ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you are correct. Last two. That's being generous. I mean, what was for? What was before Boom? What was it? No, what kind of colors? It's not colors. Colors and generations are good. Colors and generations are good. It was something um, before Boom. Black. It was a Black Sword. The Black Knight? No. No, it wasn't Sonic and the Black Knight. Oh, but anyway, we'll come, we'll, we'll come back to this in the next episode. We're going a little yeah. bit over. And we'll leave you with uh, wondering if we're going to get an extra life, because I have no idea if I am or yeah, not. Yeah, we'll leave the mystery up to you. Bye, guys.